Hello friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video is about why would you buy something like this and not Tesla. And I would like to start this Tesla for acknowledging how good Tesla is. And let's say, if not Tesla, we wouldn't have cars like this today. And I would like to acknowledge uh, the charismatic CEO of uh, Tesla, Elon Musk, and everything that he done. But that was five, ten years ago when it all started and Tesla was the only electric car in the market. It was amazing. It had no equivalent on the market at all. Today we are spoiled by choice. And like other people, me, I made my choice. And if my car is good for me, it doesn't mean it will be good for you. And this is why choice is so important. And that's exactly why you may not choose Tesla over other cars. So let's talk about where Tesla is actually quite good and why would you choose Tesla? So from performance point of view, I think uh, from affordable cars, there's no much there as much as Tesla. Tesla is amazing performance car and if you choose uh, sport and dual motor Tesla, it's an amazing uh, option there. But if you got family like myself and you're not racing, you may not choose Tesla. The second bit is uh, the uh, battery technology and everything that Tesla used to be and probably still is uh, one of the best cars, but others catching up. And to me, the battery technology is nothing if drivetrain and other electronics not supporting it. So this is what Tesla used to be the best. And I don't think if uh, Tesla still is the best one. And the reason why I chose this car and not Tesla, the first reason was uh, the economy of driving. So yes, this car is not uh, as uh, in performance from performance points of view not as good as Tesla, but the consumption, electric consumption of this car uh, averages between 13 to 14 kilowatts uh, an hour, which is amazing. I had Tesla for a couple of months and I could not achieve less than 17 kilowatts per hour. Doesn't matter how, how I was driven. And that was single motor Tesla, not dual motor. So if you think about range, an electric car, everyone's talking about range. Range is not a battery size. Range is efficiency of the whole system. Because if you get bigger battery, the battery is the heaviest part of electric vehicle. So this car may not have the biggest battery, but has really efficient drivetrain. And yes, uh, definitely I'm not comparing this car to Tesla because uh, they're not comparable and that's the whole point of this video I'm not rubbish in Tesla I'm just trying to explain why would you venture out and consider other cars like BYD Ata 3 beautiful car MG coming with MG4 now they've got ZS beautiful car the Polestar not everyone cup of tea but it's a beautiful car as well the Volvo, I think, C40 Recharge, amazing car. If you got a little bit more money and you go into Tesla for performance and everything, BMW and Mercedes got amazing offerings and so on. So why would I choose this car and not Tesla? First of all, you know, I'm not see if you see that. Uh, it has head-up display. To me, it's really important. I don't want to look at the central console. And I know people will say, oh, no, you just drive in a couple of times and you get used to I had Tesla for Model 3 for a couple of months and I would say as nice as software is on that console, I prefer to have my display here, infotainment system in the middle and support and head-up display. Look, head-up display, it's a lot of um, support for me. The second thing is uh, this car costs cheaper than base model of Tesla and I've got heated seats, I've got heated steering wheel, I've got uh, ventilated or cooled seats, I've got two power seats in the front. You know, it has everything that uh, a normal car offers plus more. And I believe at price point that Tesla sells their own cars, uh, Tesla could offer something like that too. 
and again i'm not rubbish in tesla i'm just saying why would you venture out beyond name of the tesla uh, equals the best it's maybe not the best let's talk about the best is warranty even companies like mg and 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 others giving you seven years uh, unlimited uh, uh, kilometers warranty tesla got warranty for battery and warranty for the rest of the car and from my memory the warranty for tesla is only four years and let's be honest the quality control and quality assurance of teslas are still not there they are technology company they're not a car company so if you buy something like this you've got unconditional seven year support at your local dealership you've got support wherever you go it's established brand they will look after you i'm actually not sure how tesla support works but um internet buzzing with a lot of unhappy people when they have uh, to, uh, to service their tesla and how much teslas are breaking down even if it doesn't break down i had tesla and uh, while tesla is ground built ev which has amazing dynamics of driving the noise in inside the cabin is much more significant than this car so if you buy an ev for quietness of driving uh, Tesla is not a quiet drive compared to other alternatives and even this car is not the quietest but it's still much quieter than Tesla now um, if you're buying Tesla for performance or for status or everything like that it's not a, a problem at all that's your choice but again if you buying for practicality of simple things uh, I guess uh, cars like this caught up and you may say oh but you can remote, uh, remotely control tesla and everything like that that used to be the case now other cars catch up and here we've got uh, kia connect which is completely can be uh controlled from uh wherever you are including climate control including um basically everything that car has to offer and also like gimmicks like uh parking on and uh, uh moving car in and out of parking space with a remote control key which tesla doesn't do speaking of uh what tesla doesn't do and to me even if they would be completely equal in current price why didn't buy tesla but bought this car and this car is not unique to that feature is this let's see what's inside here and inside here is a vehicle to load adapter what that means that means if you've got electric vehicle and person like me cannot install battery at home your vehicle is your battery on the wheels right so what is the point of electric car if you're using you know dirty electricity and driving around you're not saving planet you're not doing anything like that you're not even uh, having any advantages yourself besides um, good feeling of uh, EV driving what you can do with vehicle to load adapter it can serve you in event of blackout or, or even you know electricity shuffling like in my case again uh, the whole trigger of buying electric car and electric lawnmower if you've seen my other videos was um, anger and frustration that I bought huge solar um, setup a couple of years ago and electricity company doesn't pay feed in tariff anymore so um, in my case i can recharge car whole day and use that electricity at night time you cannot do this with tesla uh, and to me when company was so good five ten years ago uh, it still surprises me how they did not um uh, change that uh, with the normal update cycles if after a couple of years so if you ask me if this car is better than tesla of course not but what it is it's different and i'm glad we're having choice and i encourage people that after uh, uh that try to consider and think about buying electric cars to go and test drive them i've just driven uh different electric cars for almost a year and this is my choice after test driving uh, many cars. Again, there's nothing wrong with Tesla. There's nothing wrong with BYD. There's nothing wrong with Kia, with Mercedes, with BMW, Volvo, you name it. Those cars are different. 
if in uh, internal combustion world we've got a lot of similar car and um, price and service is just different in electric driving cars at the moment in Australia we've got a lot of different value proposition so the point I'm trying to make go out consider all options and choose uh, what suits you because Tesla may not suit you and especially things like you may you may be surprised Tesla got what people call um, battery phantom draining that means if you're not driving it your battery getting depleted which is not happening in this car it's quite significant when you buy cheapest Tesla and you've got small battery that's enough probably for 300 350 kilometers and you know after a week of not driving you 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 realize you got only maybe 200 250 left and you cannot sort of drive it to zero and you got maybe 100 150 kilometers left it's becoming a chore so those things um i suggest you test drive and consider and make your own opinion which one is good for you however if you'd like me to answer your questions about key or other cars are test driven um more than happy this is why i've got my channel here and uh i would love to answer your questions if you got them otherwise uh if you if you're in the market uh, for electric car and you've got budget also uh comment down below and i may hint you on decent uh, offerings that are currently on the market otherwise stay charged until next time greg from brisbane australia thank you for watching